Good afternoon, and welcome to your Science Review of this quiz. Today we're going to continue discussing problems from our most recent quiz. This problem is to talk about a turtle trying to swim across a river. Okay, from our picture you can tell the river is 85 meters wide, and it is traveling at an x velocity of 0.75 and a y velocity of 0.5 meters per second. Now, important to note right now, since the turtle is not falling, the acceleration due to gravity, 9.8 meters per second per second, plays no part whatsoever in this problem. Okay, so let's get started. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try to find our resultant velocity, our resultant vector, big R. Now, just like with our last video, we have R squared is equal to, in this case, Vx squared plus Vy squared. Okay? So, 0.75 squared plus 0.5 squared. That gives us an R squared of 0.8125, or if we square root both sides, we end up with a resultant velocity of 0 0.91 meters per second. Okay. Now, the next question that it asks in the problem is, how long does it take the turtle to cross the river? Now, this one's really simple. So, we take our standard displacement equation, delta x equals the delta t. Now, since we're talking in the x direction, we also remember that the velocity in the x direction is not affected in any way by the vertical velocity. So, for this equation, we're going to plug in our 85 meters and our 0.75 meters per second, not the 0 0.901 that we solved for before. Now, when we solve for delta t here, we end up with delta t is equal to 113.3 repeated seconds. Okay. Next, let's go ahead and figure out how far downstream the turtle ends up at the end of those 113 seconds. Now, Similarly, we're going to use our displacement equation, but I'm going to write delta y since it's headed in the y direction. So, dy multiplied by delta time. Okay? You saw for our delta time, and we were already given our dy up here, because again, this dy is not affected by this dx. So, 0 0.5 meters per second times 113.3 seconds. That gives us a total vertical displacement of 56.7 meters. Now, I know it wasn't asked for in the problem, but I'm going to go ahead and solve for the resultant angle from zero of the turtle's velocity. Okay? So let's go ahead and figure it out. So the angle inside this triangle is what we're going to solve for first, because that's the easiest part. To do that, we're going to use our negative tan, our arc tangent of the opposite side, 0.5, divided by the adjacent side, 0.75. Now, if we plug that into our calculator, making sure that our calculator is in degrees, the first thing that pops out is 33.69 degrees. Now, that's the angle right here inside this triangle. But as you can tell, it's supplementary to the angle that we're actually looking for. So to find the angle we want, let's go ahead and call that theta total. We're going to take 180 degrees minus this angle that we just found, 33.69 degrees. And that ends up giving us an obtuse angle of 146.31 degrees. All right. Now, I hope that was all helpful. And again, we're starting this new thing where the first five people that leave relevant comments to this video, I'm going to pick my favorite relevant comment, and that person will get five points on a daily grade. Also, if you have any suggestions for problems that I should solve here on my channel, go ahead and leave those in the comments for me, too. I hope this was helpful. I'll see you in class.